Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, AKA Loaded Wombat. And if you clicked on this video, you're looking for how to fade in and out your webcam or another source through OBS, kind of like this. One of the places that this works best for me is when I stream GTA roleplay. A lot of times there's like immersive like roleplay type things happening and it's best to not have my webcam on the screen so that people can focus in on what's happening in the game. So let's go ahead and show you how I do this. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the Move Transition OBS plugin. So what you'll do is go over to download here and then this will open up a Windows installer and you can just download the Windows installer there. You're gonna need to restart your OBS in order for that to actually like take effect and then you'll be able to see this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go over to the source that we wanna mess with, go to filters. You're gonna add a color correction filter, boom. And then this is going to allow for your opacity to go up and down, kinda of like that. So we have that on there. Then you're gonna add another filter. You're gonna to wanna to go to move value, okay. Then you're gonna choose the color correction filter in these settings here. You'll go down to uh, the setting that you wanna mess with, which is opacity. And then you can get, just hit get value. That's gonna be our fade in. So you can go ahead and rename this, right click on that, rename this to fade in. And then uh, we're gonna create another one. So go ahead and go hit plus again, hit move value, okay. You're gonna go over to color correction for the filter. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to opacity. Now we're going to go to zero on this. Boom. And then we can uh, rename this fade out. Okay. So now when we uh, when we when that goes, it fades out. And we're gonna fade back in. The only thing that we need to figure out right now is how are we going to get those to trigger off without us having to come in here and go go through that. Well, what you can do, uh, if you don't have a stream deck, you can actually go in and set up a hotkey, which you'll do through uh, settings. Then you go to hotkeys. So next you're gonna wanna go and find your source. It's a bit of a daunting task if you have a lot of stuff like I do. So we've found our source here. Whatever key that we want to I want it to fade in on, you're gonna wanna make sure you hit that key within here. You can put backspace, you can put anything. But now when we go over here, we're gonna go page up. Boom, it fades it out. So that's how you can do it through hotkeys. Now, if you have a stream deck, you wanna to wanna to continue this video, I'll show you guys how to do it through a stream deck. So mine looks a little bit crazy right here, but we'll just create a new profile here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually have something called OBS tools. If you don't have that, you're gonna go up here, go to the store, hit OBS tools, and then you're gonna be able to install that, okay? So once you have that, you're gonna be able to have a filter toggle. You'll do that. We'll go over to your uh, source that you had. I'll just show you guys on my other source um, that I do this with. You'll go to like your source and then you're gonna find the filter and then you'll just choose the fade in or fade out, whichever button you want it to be. You'll do this again for the other one. So if, you had, if this was fade in, you'll do it for the other one for fade out and uh, that will allow you to hit that boom it fades and fades out hopefully that helps you guys out i actually have multiple things so i have also an overlay that goes over my webcam that i want to fade out at the same time so in order to do that i set up everything also on that like overlay piece uh, that we did like in order to fade that source out as well and then i come back in here and i go to multi-action go to filter toggle and then i put both of the filters in so I'm doing a multi-action button i'm gonna put the filter in for my camera and then I'm gonna do another one for my uh, overlay if I wanna fade that out as well. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know it's a little bit of like a deeper kind of thing and you gotta really dive deep into OBS and all that kind of stuff. But I really enjoy being able to do this. If you guys have not checked out my stream, by the way, we're live Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. But on Wednesdays, we go live at 3 p.m. Pacific time. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do all my entertainment-based stuff. It's called Loaded Wombat Creates. You guys can head over there. It's in the link in the description below. Thank you so much. Have a great time creating. And uh, it's been a pleasure being here with you.